Hey everyone, Aaron here with Elite Water Sports, hanging out with Uli inside the North Tent here at AWSI for 2024. And North has always been a leader in development of magnitude of different materials and kite designs, wing designs, and foil designs. And they are no different in this year's lineup, creating the best things out on the market. And Uli's gonna explain us to us about all the different uh, sizes and shapes and what they're good for. So take it away, man. Sure. So for North Foils, we have three wing categories, let's say. We have the SF wings, which are surf wings. They're really low stall speed. Um, then we have the MA wings, which are mid aspect ratio wings. They sit straight in the middle. And we have the HA wings, which are very fast wings, high aspect ratio wings. They sit at the top end of the speed range, let's say. And this is how we divert, let's say, our lineup. It makes it very easy for people also to think what they're looking for. It's like, okay, you want to go fast, go HAs. You want to go surfing mm -hmm. and light wind, maybe um, slower stall speed, go for the surf wings. If you want to do it all, go for the MAs. They cover the widest range. There we go. I'm more of an MA rider myself because yeah. I am all over the spectrum. You know, some days I have just flat water. Some days I have big waves and I need something that I can just have a go to, grab it and just really succeed in whatever conditions I put it into. Yeah. Uh, what's really cool though, is that we're having some return North riders throughout the whole year. So they're really, really isolating exactly what they're looking for. And that's the beauties behind your North lineup is that they can really dial in exactly the wave pipe, the size of it, the shape, the flat water conditions, high winds, low winds. So what you yeah. guys are doing is really impressive. Thank you. So, so for this year, we have updated the MA range. We used to have the MA 1050, the 1200, um, and the 1350. They were really successful wings. Mm -hmm. They were had, a, for being an MA, quite a high top end speed still. So that yeah. made them very popular. Um, things we wanted to improve was definitely the tip reach. They were a little bit more sensitive to tip reach and ventilation. So that got fully eliminated now with our new tip design, which is like an anti-ventilation tip design. Fantastic, yeah. And that's gone. Also, what you notice sometimes when riding them close to the water surface, you've picked up a little bit the, the noise of um, the water surface that you could feel over the foil a little bit. It had to do with the tip shape at the end. They had like cold down tips, the MAV1 versions. Now MAV2 versions, they have a bit of a master shape from the front. Oh, okay. And that's been all reworked and we got some of the new sizes basically so we're starting in the bigger sizes with an m8 2100 1850 and then comes the big jump to 1500 which is a really could be also a beginner friendly wing for a more ambitious rider that, that's our most sold wing in in the um in the shop right now is a 1500 for the guys that have uh maybe advanced a little faster but yep. they still need something uh a little bit more reserved you do need still that a little bit bigger surface in the beginning just to progress faster yeah now there's no point buying too small out challenging yourself and you right. just struggle you just right. want to have it easy in the beginning yeah. so don't get caught up on going to what you may take a long time to actually get into the sport go easy and make, then you're still going to make use it, it easy yeah. you know none of them are let's say uh, beginner friends you will uh, let's say a beginner wins you will you will grow out fast you can right. still keep them for light wind days you know yeah. there's a long journey with the falling and once you feel more confident you step down no problem mm -hmm. so from the 1500 we then come to the 1200 ma and the 1050 we then added this we didn't have the last year but we are now added the 850 and the 700 so we're going really small this is mainly driven by weight uh smaller people let's say below 70 kgs right for them the 850 is still too big um they want a 700. we have a team rider that's rocking the 700 that absolutely loves it on big wave days he can um, accelerate past the wave without breaching he can yeah. back it back in he can still pump it a little bit he's also an advanced rider though yeah but this is also the nice thing about the new v2 version is that we increase the pumpability of the foil uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Last year, the MAs, they were really um, pitch stable, but it's the opposite of the one when you want to pump. Right, okay. So while it was really nice and true forgiving, it yeah. did not enable great pumps. So that got all improved as well. And let's say your 850 and the 700 are great crossover wings. Mm -hmm. These are not just winging, uh, wings for wing foiling, they're also wing, wings for prone foiling, mm -hmm. and they can be also good for kite foiling. Right, right. So it's a really nice versatile wing if you're looking for that one cleaver solution somehow and want to try everything a little bit. That 850 MAV2 That's is probably a really why Will pick. likes that wing so much. Yeah. You know, he's all over the spectrum on all disciplines. So. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about the higher aspect? Yeah, so these are actually the surf wings. They look quite high aspect okay. because yeah. we're coming to the smaller sizes. 
Um, we have the SF range, so the surf uh, front wing range. We have the 1230, the 1080, and a 930. And now we have added an 830 and a 680 to the top of it. There's a progression that you can see in the aspect ratio. So we're going all the way to almost 10. We are here at 9.2, mm -hmm. uh, with the smallest the 680. The aspect ratio just allows you to have a nice glide and a great pump. The higher you go, the better the efficiency of the wing gets. However, a very spanny wing is hard to turn, so you got to find a compromise a little bit. But since when going down, we're not so limited by the span anymore because your surface area is so, so small anyhow. Gotcha. You, go, you go for the span, and that's why the span increases down the range. But you sure know a lot about the uh, aspect ratios and everything. It's great that you guys are labeling it now because I mean, our foilers are starting to get super tech. They yeah. bought it all these years, and now they're starting to really get into the it's numbers. There's a, it's a lot of great. education. It makes my life harder, you know. Yeah, it's but it's a job, but we're trying, and uh, it's really cool to have have guys fan clubs of specific ratios. Yeah, and stuff. we try to make it so intuitive and easy as possible. You know, the whole foil system we got the coding of which screw goes to um, which uh, front wing mm -hmm. label on the front wings. We have the screws label themselves. They show what they are. Yes. So it's idiot proof. It's made it really easy in the shop. We're yeah. not chasing around bolts and screws. Yeah. They're all kind of the same lineup. It's fantastic. And then we created the foil riders guide, uh, which gives, we can see some out of this here printed out in the back, which gives a really nice overview of what front wing, which fuselage, which stabilizer, which mass for which condition and which, uh, let's say, category of sport. We call foiling. it the cheat sheet. <laughs> it's, um, I think I call it the fact sheets, but it's go. important. You know, they're all the facts that you need to know. Right. So uh, that's really great. What is what is really worth pointing out for the surf wings is that they have a really great stall, low stall speed. Mm -hmm. And that's why, let's say, the 930 is suddenly becoming a light wind wing wing as okay. well. Right. So not just for going into the wave, also for the light wind winging, because your progression is winging, mm -hmm. because things are so easy, right. you progress faster. Your text, your jibes, everything goes so much smoother because you got more time during the text maneuvers mm -hmm. before the front wing stalls. Right, right. And, and that makes it's not bucking around a little bit or falling out on not, you. So it makes it so actually, much easier. Yeah. So for progression, these are really great progression wings for other areas than just wave riding. There we say. go. Yeah. So how about the uh, the stabilizers? You have a good assortment these days. Yeah. And they considerably change your ride quality. Uh, matching up the perfect stabilizer to the perfect front wing is sometimes the hardest thing to do. It is. Uh, how, how is it with the interchangeability on all the different sizes and shapes? Everything is interchangeable, but some combinations would not make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So what we try also here is try to get more transparency for the end user. Um, our all-around uh, stabilizers have a zero at the end. So we have there the S210, the S270, and the big S320. Okay. So depending on your front wing size, you match the stabilizer to that front wing. Gotcha. The bigger your front wing goes, the bigger your stabilizer goes as oh, well. Right. So they belong together. Then for surfing, uh, or let's say for low speed and surf friendly front wings, we have the five at the end. Okay. So there you got the um, two, uh, the one, the S185 and the S215. So the S215 would go with all your front wings, let's say from the 930 upwards, the 930 SF, 1080 SF and 1230 SF. Gotcha. And below for the just new size that we added, the 830 SF and the 630 SF, you would run them with the 185 stabilizer. All right, so a little cheat on that is that size is going to be correlation with the front wings, make it easy there. And yeah. knowing the numbers at the very end will tell you what wings they designed for. So it makes just life easier when you're grabbing them out of the bucket or the bag, you know, and seeing what you should do for the day. And the next thing is um, if you our HA wings, which are over there, the higher aspect ratio wings, mm -hmm. they want to stabilize at a kennels a high top end speed does not matter so much the bottom end speed because that creates drag. Right. And therefore uh, they have the eight at the end. And there we have the 178 as the smallest and the S208 as the mid one. And now we're adding a new one, um, an S238, which will be laid on for our pumpings as well, covering both yeah. sides. The stabilizers, it's just important to, to point out, you mentioned to your front wing and your speed range. Surf wings, light wind, wing foiling, you want to go a little bit slower. You need to have a stabler that matches that same speed mm -hmm. because otherwise the stabler stalls before the front wing stalls. Yeah. What you then will experience is a high punchy lift from that front wing, like mm -hmm. pushing through your front leg the whole time. It's really unpleasant. That means stabilizer stalled, front wing still has lift. Right. But okay. the front wing is not controlled by the stabilizer anymore. Yeah. So, 
to sum it up, eight at the end from our north stabilizers means going fast. Mm -hmm. Zero is all around stabilizers. Okay. Yeah. Five at the back is for surf. So and this, this is why we're doing the interview with you. I mean, you know the lineup. Well, we created the lineup. We right? breathe and eat this daily. You know, <laughs> yes, it's it's, right it's our life. So we try to. We have all these ideas, and we are so deep into it. But we got to make it digestible for other people out there. Right, right. Easy to get to know what the product range is, and if you bring new products, automatically know. Oh, they brought a new eight at the end out. So that will be fast. Okay, interested or not? Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. Well, it's really uh, amazing to get with you guys here at AWSI every single year and see what's new. And you guys have really made it a simple um, but wide range of foils here. Yeah. You know. And uh, so I look forward to seeing uh, all your comments in the YouTube section and also your phone calls at the shop. And uh, you know, if there's something that we haven't gone over today, we can uh, you know talk about it over the phone. So give us a call, 727-800-2202. Make sure you subscribe and like that video, and we'll have more to come. Thank Perfect. you so much. No worries. You're welcome. Right. My pleasure. All right.